going on YouTube traders, investors? Today, we're going to take a closer look at Tesla and the current downtrend. It's down 45% from a previous high. But before we get in this video, in the description below, there's going to be a link for Robinhood. If you use that link to sign up for Robinhood, you'll get a free stock. I'll get a free stock. It's all good. You stand a chance of getting a Berkshire Hathaway, Apple, or Microsoft stock. And with Robinhood, it's totally free. There's no fees. They'll never charge you anything. Totally free trading. So into the video now, um, we'll start off with the bad news. Here a few weeks ago, I think it was at the end of April, there was a video circulating from China of a surveillance video camera, like looked like a parking garage with a Tesla that started smoking and it basically went up in flames. Almost looked like the car exploded. Crazy, crazy video. Um, the more recent bad news, Elon Musk came out and said that they're going to do some hardcore cost cutting. What that entails, I'm not for sure on the particulars, but to me, it sounds like it could be like a desperate move, but at the same time, a good move. So, I mean, it, it, it sounds like they're trying to take control of the spending. They know that they, they the, the quarter one burn rate was crazy. They've got to start cost cutting which is a good thing. It's a good thing. And I like to see companies that take charge of things like this. Um, On to some good news though. They completed the acquisition of Maxwell Technologies, which is like their, their battery people. So basically they're gonna save money there with their batteries. Um, great deal. Great deal for Maxwell, great deal for Tesla. Um, Back to a little more bad news first. I don't know how true this bad news is. Um, there, there was some chatter on the Tesla Tesla boards saying that the paint is wearing off of these vehicles like within a year. So I don't know how true that is, but if that's true, they need to get that under control. Um, and also Elon is kind of some mixed news. I mean, it could be very, very good. I don't know how true the statement is, but Elon came out and said something that he's, they're going to start robo taxis basically into the autonomous autonomous vehicles. Then he said that all their current vehicles would only require basically an update of the software to make them autonomous. That's crazy. If that's true, that's like, that's insane. That is insane. Uh, insane. Good. I mean, only time will tell. We'll see. But before we get into the chart, if you believe in Tesla, this is an excellent buying opportunity. And I'll tell you why, because of where we're trending. We're trending towards electric vehicles. We're trending towards autonomous vehicles, which is basically Tesla space. They're like the number one electric vehicle maker and seller. <laughs> so, I mean, these are things you need to think about before you decide, nah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into Tesla. Nah, I don't believe in them or nah, whatever. Th these are, you need to look at the trends. Now, with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into the chart. Um, we're going to back this chart out to a 10 year one day, just because I've already got some stuff on here. You know, you see the low, you see the downtrend right now. It's a pretty steep one, pretty steep. Um, we're sitting at 211 and I'm going to zoom in. See these two circles right here. These are previous lows where it looked like Tesla found good support there. Um, we'll go ahead and zoom in. And th these low, this low was back in December of 2016 where it hit the low right at 180, right at 180. And we'll zoom in on this one, right at 180, maybe a little bit above, but obviously there's, there's some support there. There's some support at 180. Will this stock get to 180? Who knows? This previous support there is headed in that direction. But like I said before, if you believe in this company, you should get in now and average down. I mean, it's all in what you believe in. If you believe that we're headed in the direction of electric vehicles and autonomous vehicles, this is your company. Um, we're going to back it out to the 180. 
and you can see the previous high was $379, almost $380. And we, we could possibly be going down to $180. Doesn't mean we'll get to $180, but it's a possibility. You look at the RSI, we're very oversold right now. Very oversold. So it's up to you. This, like I said, this is where we're trending. Um, and with that, I'm going to be done. You're going to have to make your decision on this one. We're, we're all going to watch and see. But if this gets below 200, I'm seriously going to think about it. Seriously. All right. If you like the video, subscribe, hit the like, uh, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.